Hi, I'm Tara and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a pasta with clam sauce. Might be a good thing that you could make this coming weekend for Valentine's Day if you choose to stay in and just want to make something a little bit special, a little bit different than you normally make. Um, and this is made with things that you might be able to find easily in your pantry and it actually doesn't take very long at all to make. So I have here on the stove top um, water that is just about to boil. So I'm going to throw in my pasta soon to make that. But I think I use a pasta from uh, Costco. I get these, uh, what is this brand? Garofalo? I don't know. I'm definitely not saying that right. But uh, I like this type of pasta that uh, like the little pieces, I find it easier to eat. Um, and I don't know what this shape really is, but it's kind of like a twisty kind of shape. This is my favorite one. So it's almost a pound. Um, this recipe is for a pound of pasta, but you know, if you have a little extra sauce with your pasta, who doesn't like that, right? Um, I just have one portion taken out of this, so it's almost a pound. So I'll be using this. Um, we start this recipe um, with a half a cup of chopped shallot. Now, obviously, this is not a shallot. It would be the hugest shallot you've ever seen in your life. Um, but a lot of times when you're making a recipe at home, you don't have exactly everything that the recipe calls for. And this is the case for me as well right now. So I have onions. That's what I'm going to use. So I'm going to go ahead and start by getting this onion prepped and ready to go. And I just cut it in half after I cut the ends off. And we want about a half a cup, half a cup of chopped onion. So we'll just take the outer layers off. And the way I like to cut onion, making sure that it's flat against the cutting board, and just cut along this way first. And then turn it and just cut into pieces this way. Easy peasy. be good. That's going to be more than a half a cup, so we will kind of eyeball that. And I just saved the rest in a like a Ziploc bag uh, and put it in the fridge for use in the next couple days because I put onion in a lot of stuff. So, All right, so we're going to go ahead and dump in this pasta since the water is boiling. Get that all going. And the, the water is salted. You want to salt the water every time that you cook pasta um, so that uh, it flavors the pasta a bit. And when you first put the pasta in, just give it a good stir so it doesn't stick. And then for this um, pasta, it calls for, what is it? I'm looking, uh, nine minutes. So I will just set the timer because believe me I will forget. <laughs> All right so we've got our pan heated to about uh, medium heat or so and I'm going to add the butter, the two tablespoons of butter. Get that melting and I'm also going to add a half a cup of onion that we chopped. Get that kind of stirring around a bit. And then we're going to run a couple of cloves of garlic through the garlic press. This is the one that I have. Um, and with these, you can just put the whole clove, and this is a big mamma jamma, put the whole clove in there with the skin and everything else on and just squeeze it right through and all that comes through is what you need which is that garlic. Let me grab my knife and basically you just kind of take the knife and get that 
that all off of there. And then I'm going to then open it up and the skin just kind of comes right out for you, which is super cool. And then I will do the other one. So it's way easier to do this, obviously, than, uh, you know, mincing up garlic with a knife. Okay. Here we go with this one. And get that in there. All right. And we want to stir that up. And it smells amazing in here. Butter, onion, and garlic. All right, so that is the timer going off for the pasta. So I'm gonna go ahead and I have uh, a strainer like this that I'm going to drain it in. I'll go ahead and drain this. Is a little bit more than I have room for in this <laughs> strainer. So I'm going to grab a bowl. I'm also taking this mixture off of the heat for a minute while I'm messing around getting a bowl so that I can get that taken care of and then get back to this. We don't want to burn it. So Use this bowl, put it in the pasta, drain the other pasta. You can use a big colander, obviously, but I don't want to dig it out. <laughs> I like this one. I don't know. It's the one I like, so I'm using it. Okay. So that pasta is ready to go when we're ready for it. So I'm just going to set it over to the side for now, and we'll go back to the pan. All right. So... Our mixture here is pretty much uh, starting to get golden brown. So that's the time that we're going to go ahead and add our two tablespoons of flour and stir that up so that we create uh, what, it, what it's called a roux. Uh, I mean, we want that to be kind of like a paste and you want that to be a golden brown. You don't want to get it, you don't want it to cook too fast and too much where it becomes like a darker brown or anything because then you're gonna you're gonna taste that kind of uh, burnt taste but you want to cook it just long enough where you don't taste like just like a kind of a raw flour taste so you see the bottom of the pan is pretty much a golden brown now we don't want it to cook anymore so we are now going to add our wine, which I have this measured out, and I'm using this Cupcake um, cupcake Vineyards Pinot Grigio. So you just want to use a dry white wine, and we're going to add that. Stir that up to get all the bits off the bottom. I'm going to turn the heat down to closer to low, because I don't want it to cook too fast. And since I'm using one of these flat cooktops, I remove it from the heat source as well, just for a moment while that starts to cool down. Um, I'm also going to add the can of baby clams that I have uh, with the juice in it. So we're going to pour that in. So lots of clams. And we're also going to pour in a whole bottle, eight ounces of clam juice. So we'll add all that as well. I'm going to bring that back over to the heat now and stir that all up. And actually, I'm going to go back up to a medium heat because now that we have all this liquid, we can kind of bring it back up to a bubble. Okay, so while that is coming back up to a boil, we have one other thing that we need to 
chop up and that is some fresh parsley. So you just kind of take a bunch. We need about a quarter cup or so. So just take a bunch and kind of pull off the leaves as best you can so that we can chop it up. kind of put it in a pile and grab a hold of it as much as you can with your hand so that you can start cutting it roughly to get it started there. Once you've made one pass through then you can really kind of go over it and cut it more fine. And that's basically, that's basically about a quarter cup. So we will use that. And this is starting to just start to bubble. So we are going to let that simmer for about five minutes and then we will add our herbs and our salt and pepper to flavor it. While we wait, we'll snack on pepitas. <laughs> what do you do while you wait for something to come to a summer? You snack on something, right? Just give it a stir every once in a while because you do have that flour mixture in there. So as this, you know, now that it's bubbling a bit, it's going to start thickening up. And you'll feel that when you're stirring it, kind of on the bottom of the, uh, the pan, you'll feel it thickening up. Okay, it's been about five minutes, so we're going to go ahead and add our herbs. So I'm just going to take this, add that. and also the dry herb mixture that I put together. Um, this recipe actually calls for time, but again, I am going to be using what I have on hand. You could use like an Italian seasoning, um, like if you have Italian dry seasoning, use that, uh, three-fourths tablespoon, or three-fourths teaspoon. This, I'm doing a mixture of oregano and basil and a little bit of pepper flake. So I'm going to add that as well. And then we wanna add pepper and salt to taste. So I just will grind in some black pepper. You just kind of know how much you want. I like a lot of black pepper. And then salt. Just a bit. You can always add more salt. You can never take away, right? So add some. You can always taste it. And then just stir it up and it's thickening up. Each time I stir it, it's thickening up a bit more. And it's bubbling pretty quickly. So I'm just going to go between medium and low on the stove. Just to make sure that we don't boil the sauce too quickly. Because we want it to thicken, but we don't want it to reduce too much. It smells really, really good. <laughs> All right. Okay, so it looks like it's about ready for us to add the pasta, but let's go ahead and give it a taste first. Can you grab a spoon and... Try not to burn yourself. <laughs> And I'm just testing, I can taste the, the herbiness, um, obviously the clams, the clam juice. Um, t I, I have some heat from the pepper flake. You may not have that if you don't add that. Um, I do think it needs just a little bit more salt. Just adding a bit more. I'm gonna 
just stir it and taste it one more time. And if it's ready, then I will add the pasta. So you want to taste. As you go, when you're cooking anything, you want to taste what you're making. Mm. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So, got the pasta from before. Now, it's going to be like a little, like, stuck together a bit. Just kind of break it up a little. It'll loosen right back up since it was just sitting there a little bit. It'll be all good. And then we will add it to this bowl, or to this uh, pan. I'm trying not to get it everywhere. <laughs> okay. All right. And then we will stir this up so all that wonderful sauce can coat all of the pasta. And you can see how simple this was to make. I mean, that's really all that's to it. We're just going to stir this up, make sure it's nice and coated. All the, all the pieces of pasta are coated with this great sauce. And then we will serve it and grate a little Parmesan cheese on top because why wouldn't you? It's going to add just another dimension of flavor. Take a look. Looks pretty good, right? All right. Let's plate. So I'm going to move this out of my way and grab one of my favorite pasta bowls. All right, so I am just going to take this bowl and ladle in a few scoops. For me, I think I'm gonna eat three scoops. <laughs> Turn the heat off. Take it off of the heat again with these. You want to take it off of the heat. And I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna grab a wedge of Parmesan cheese. ways that we can grate this. I mean, there's a few different ways. But two different ways. I've got a grater like this, so you would get kind of bigger, like, you know, bigger grated pieces of Parmesan. Or we could do the microplane and kind of use that. Um, I think I'm going to go with the microplane. So if you can see this. So I'm just going to take this and Grate the cheese, and this obviously is up to you if you even want to add this cheese, but I think it will be delicious. So add whatever you want, however much you want, and keep it close by because you might want to add more. <laughs> All right, need a fork, and it's time to taste. So here is the final product. Looks pretty good. <laughs> you could even add like a little extra parsley on top to make it pretty. Should have done that, right? <laughs> we can even add, you know, kind of ripped pieces of parsley on top <laughs> just to make it a little prettier. You know. All right, there we go. Pretty, pretty. Okay, let's see if it tastes good. Because <laughs> it doesn't matter what it looks like, it tastes like shit, right? Okay, <laughs> I 
and it's steaming hot, so I will try not to burn the hell out of my mouth. Mmm. Very good. A nice, simple flavor. It's creamy. There's, you know, the butter in there, but it was only two tablespoons of butter for the whole entire batch. This is going to feed, I don't know, four people, three to four people, depending on how much you want to eat. <laughs> so I'll be eating this for, you know, a few days probably, but the creaminess is really coming from that. Otherwise, I didn't add any heavy cream, anything like that. Um, there's clam juice. Also, if you don't have clam juice on hand, because who does really, <laughs> but you want to make this uh, recipe, or you've got your can of clams with the clam juice, but you don't have the bottle of clam juice, instead of the clam juice uh, bottle, you can just add eight ounces of chicken stock if you want instead. I've done that uh, before in the past, and it turned out really good, so that's another way you can do it. But yeah, that's it. So I hope you choose to make this. And again, this could be something nice to make for possibly a, you know, a meal for Valentine's Day or just to make something special that you don't usually make. So thanks for stopping by and I will see you next time. Yes, sometimes I stand in my kitchen and I eat the whole thing right here, like an animal. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's good. It's really good. Make this. Make it!